All right, $50 headphone challenge part two, because part one included just these two. And everyone's like, well, you can't have a challenge. You got to have the Task MTH Show 2s, and you got to have the Tackstar Hi-Fi 2050. So here we go. Let's add on. Starting with the task cams. Well, these are the pads it comes with. Again, not the pad it comes with. Here are the pads it comes with. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the task cams are one of the, one of the tightest clamping headphones I've worn. And you put these on, and you don't, you know, it's tight and it's a little uncomfortable, but it goes away. And you don't know why the like the tightness goes away. And it's because your ears are going friggin' numb. I mean numb. I couldn't feel my ears after about 40 minutes. I'm like, wait, it's so uncomfortable. And uh, I brought them back here, and these are the Brainwave, actually these are the NVX giant uh, wedge foam pads. So if these fit, then these will fit. I don't think you could buy these, but I know you could buy these. And so, so the monoprice, these are closed, obviously, and these are closed. So if we're going to now have little semifinals, or I don't know what division we're in here, but... Tascam clothes. I bought the white ones, the ghetto white ones with the red lettering, the ones that are trying to be like super cool beats alternatives, because, get this, these are $10 cheaper than the black ones, which made them $16 or $17. $17 headphones. All right? Doesn't even make sense in my brain, $17 headphones. So they had white pair. It was white on white on white on white. And it was just like, oh my God. And they didn't sound bad, but, it, you know, the numbness certainly takes its toll, and do you, uh, you judge. So, this is the first pair. This second pair, this second uh, round, these have no detachable cables. So, both the Superlux and the Monoprice uh, 8323 and the 668Bs both have det detachable cables with different methods. The Tascam and the Tackstar do not have detachable cables. So, you're stuck with it. And on this one, you're stuck with a big one. I, I braided this, and I think it's about 10 feet. I'd say I'd say it's a 10-footer of bright red, just right off the bat. Uh, if I didn't tell you how much these were, if you got these in black and not the insane white, and I didn't tell you how much they were, and you just looked over their build quality to sort of guess, you wouldn't guess $17, that's for sure. Because this is actually some of the better built headphones. Had, like this is like a complete copy of the M50 head, only in white and slightly shittier. Because this is this is a super. It's actually not that thick, but you know that's. Let's compare what this gives you. This gives you three little knobs on top. This gives you that, and it's actually a nice tight fit. So it actually touches your whole head. So it rests entirely on your head. The adjustment is, you know, basic. The basic slide out. I think it's all plastic. There's no, obviously, obviously, there's metal in there if it's got sprunginess. And it has the ball joint in there, so you can, if I can do it, fold it up. You can fold these up. They rotate full, full 90 degrees. They've got good articulation. Uh, now with these retardo pads on it, and these are retardedly big pads. These are slightly smaller than Alpha Dog pads. Uh, they don't quite fold up as much as they used to, where you could sort of... Actually, you'd have, you'd have to do this, and then... All right, whatever. Whatever. Once you once you change the pads out, you're not going to matter anyway. Now, these are not exactly tight. They sort of... Uh, free spin. But that's actually a good thing, because you just put them on your head, and you adjust where you want that to go. So... I again, I'm not going to tell you how these are with the pads because unusable with the stock pads, just like all cheap headphones pretty much are, except for those. And uh, I'll tell you how these sound. If I was going to pair them to this, which is obviously what I'm here to compare to, since these are actually cheaper in this color, or if they're black, they're the same price, these are better than the mono price. There you go. I could take these off the list pretty much because I like. The head the headband build of this is a little bit better. I don't know if I don't. It's the same system on both. It's the same ball joint system. This is a little bit more robust and bigger and more comfortable. So what about sound quality? This is better. Where the highs in this were cheap, 
that I heard, you know, you heard like just anomalies up in the high end. That was like, eh, but you know, what do you want for twenty dollars? Well, there's none in this, and the low in this is just as good as the low end in this. So now, that's that's two points for the task game. They're more comfortable when you change the pads, and they got better sound quality, which is really what we're all about here. I mean, we're here for the sound quality. I don't give a shit if it's the most comfortable headphone ever and sounds like ass. I'm not gonna tell you to buy it. So, <sighs> phone. All right. So, this doesn't have a detachable cable, which sort of sucks a lot. A lot. Like, a lot. This is a very, very... And it's not, a, it's not like it's a high-quality cable, either. Uh, because I don't think you could get away... You'd have to mod this, and there isn't much room. It's, a, it's an odd shape. So, you're pretty much stuck with it. So, what do you want to do? You want to have the detachable cable and slightly worse sound quality and slightly worse build quality... Or these with slightly better build quality and a better cable. And a worse cable. I'm sorry, a worse cable. Oh, my bad. Also, you don't have to get the white ones. Although, once you put these pads on, you blow people's minds. Their minds are blown. Moving on. So these have now been eliminated by these. Maybe I'll give these away now. Now that these are not as good as those, let's give these away. And now we'll move over to this other shootout. This is an important shootout. Because we've got the 668Bs, which between the two, these won. And between well, a lot of headphones, these won. And I like them because they were very open sounding. Super open sounding. Again, I changed the pads out with the, the high Feynman pads. Because you couldn't, uh, you just couldn't. You just couldn't. You couldn't with those. You could not with those. But... can't hate these i can't hate these there is high-end siblings screeching sounds that people can't stand happening in these there's ways to deal with it there's equalizer settings you could do to deal with it and in games in video games that doesn't matter that doesn't he doesn't matter at all because you know a gunshot doesn't play constantly so unless you listen to sirens it's not shouldn't bother you but that is a detriment. That is the negative of these headphones. They've got the best attachable cable system, so they win on from every headphone. Every headphone in existence. This wins or that. And the clamp is nice and soft. Well, actually, no, the clamp isn't that soft. But with those pads, it was way worse. So now it's just... It's super very acceptable comfort-wise. And the soundstage is hyper-exaggerated. That's what these give you. So gaming... These are the gaming headphones. So let's look at the Tax Stars now. And these are only available, I think, from uh, direct China AliExpress type stuff. You are not going to find these on Amazon or Newegg or anything else. And that is a gaudy ass label. That is actually a, a, a riveted. It's a riveted metal plate with that says Tax Star. And it's not very tactful. <laughs> uh, but no shit, these are the best fucking headphones I've heard in a long time. Under $200. Uh, I would compare these directly. These, if you said to me right now, hey Steve, would you rather have a set of Tackstar 2050s or would you like a set of Quincy Jones 701s? I'm taking these. These have a very, very close sound signature. Because I, I do a lot of my initial... Like, how do these headphones sound on people speaking on vent? And when you put on a set of clothes cans, people sound a certain way. You know, where they're focused, where you hear their voice, if it sounds out of phase or not. And closed headphones pretty much all sound the same. These sounded... Oh, these sounded like my hi fi -mans. And when I put these on, I was getting a diluted vocal pattern that is exactly what I heard with the Quincy Jones 701s. And I put these on, and I put them on my portable, because they're super... Where the Quincy Jones require, like, a literal diesel generator to power them. These are some of the more efficient headphones I've ever tried. Build quality? Let's look at build quality. Well, let's see. That's metal. That's plastic. That's metal. Uh, that's plastic. 
this is sort of like this looks like a replaceable headband from like a Sennheiser or something because it's got that that uh like Ziploc seal on top and it sort of terminates inside of here so you can't really take it off and it's got a sort of a bulge so that looks a little stupid but you know what you look at the depth of that cushy fucking pad and then you look at the cups and they could, they could do this nice twist let's look at the cups oval cups trying to be aerodynamic you know velour and not quite there but I'd say 75% of the way and oval cups fit most most giant ears so these fit me perfectly they're perfectly comfortable for I mean I I put these on for a week on my computer instead of my HE 300s with the focus pads and I had I'd miss nothing I missed nothing. There's a slight different sound signature, obviously, because these are Quincy Jones-ish and not hi fi ish These are more hi fi ish just wider. And uh, there's nothing to change on these. Whereas you have to buy these, change pads, buy these, change pads, buy these, change pads. You buy these, and you wait. I waited for three and a half weeks to get these. And they came with no box. They came in a bubble wrap envelope with a quarter inch adapter this warranty card that comes in Jap in Chinese and English this quality control tab an instruction manual that's written in is it written entirely in Chinese I think it might be entirely in Chinese hold on mm -hmm. yep not a lick of English not a lick of it and somewhere that I don't know where it is now that I've said this is a little tiny square with a scratch off to say is your tech store authentic scratch it off and I don't care if it's authentic because it sounds amazing and if the knockoff sound as good as these holy god uh, you could take off the pad you can take off the pad and that is interesting because I'm interested now in buying tech star pads to put on other headphones because these are really remember grandma's couch that, that you know you don't like you don't like it but it was comfy that's what these pads are uh what don't I like all right the fact that they don't sort of like tilt in far enough to touch that's sort of annoying it's just like like just just go a little more so that you touch but it doesn't matter when they're on your head it just matters when they're sitting there and they're doing that this could have been a little bit shorter or better better put together it's super thick though you're not gonna uh you're not gonna damage it I think the slide locks are a little weak like where, where it actually ends. I don't care. These headphones sound amazing. I put these on my Cowan player and I did not take them off for a week. Uh, so, these beat the 668s. Just beat them. Because these needed work. And they're they're super exaggerated, and I enjoy it. These are enjoyable headphones, but if I'm going on the strictest rules of hey, which headphones are better sounding, Taxstars win. Uh, no detachable cable, and they come with a seven foot heavy cable. This is a pretty thick cable. It's thicker. Well, it's obviously thicker than that, but it's thicker than all the other cables. And they include the seven foot cable and then a six foot extension cable. They should have put a four foot cable on this and then a six foot extension cable. I put a fucking seven footer on it. So at some point in the future, in one of these videos, you could look, I don't know if the future's happened yet. If the ha future's happened, look in my channel. I'm going to cut off this wire. Of course, it's so thick. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to make this system. I'm going to solder on a new three and a half millimeter dingy 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 right here. Because it's super annoying to have to use these with the bundle. I don't even want to. I don't want to do this to it. It's too thick. It's just gonna be massive. Yeah, so, so out of the box, good. Uh, you know, oh, burning. You know, I'm a, I'm a. I believe in headphone burning. Didn't need it. Liked them immediately. If you like a headphone immediately, don't burn it in. I burned in the task cams because I just wanted to make sure it was closed. I don't know. Closed affect me more. I think they do more. But uh, yeah, those tax stars, man. Fucking tax star. 
That's all I kept saying for the whole day I got them. I was like, tax are 2050s. You got them? No? Oh, you suck. Just open, clear, everything's balanced. Listening to, I don't know what this is, but out of phase stuff, where if you're watching a video and there's, you know, behind the scenes clapping, you know, if you're watching a live, supposed or supposedly a live show, out of phase stuff sounds way behind you compared to like a normal, every other set of headphones I've ever worn. It, I don't know how it does that. I don't know how I could describe how that's working. But it's pretty damn impressive. So they're there. Of the of the four here, they're the most comfortable. Uh, they sound the best. And they actually cost the most. They cost the most. A staggering $41 shipped from China. So $17, $24, $36, $41. And I've seen a couple for like $39, but who cares? Who cares? I'm gonna get the uh, I'll get I'll get my ears on, and I'm gonna give these a shot. I'm gonna try to record these. I'm gonna try to record the task cams. I may take the retardo pads off the task cams and put on the normal brainwave pads, the uh, the short ones. To <laughs> the short ones, they're still massive and comfy. These pads, but these are these are uh, those are dumb. Those are dumb pads. And then I'm going to try to cap try to capture the magic that is these right here. These are the Mica MB42X of headphones, or maybe the Fluence X6. They're up there. They're up there in like the wow. In the why do you buy anything else? We're going to see how this goes down, ladies and gentlemen. Everything. Oh, and I'm I'm powering everything today with uh. This is the SMLSC 7932 again, and I've got it powered via USB because I've got this music choice, music source. I forget the damn brand name, and it's not written on here, but it's basically just a USB to coaxial digital converter, and it costs like $18. So if you want a good headphone amp, I would recommend this one, but people are like, oh, I got a laptop, I can't use it. Well, you buy this little box, and you get a USB to coaxial digital, and everything works grand. It's only 16-bit, um, 48 kilohertz, but honest to God, that's that's really all you need. You're, if you could tell 24-bit from 16-bit, I'll buy you a 24-bit deck.